can't be. This cannot be. Impossible. Or, by name of Marius, are you immortal one? Well, yes, I'm Silver. Who are you? And what's impossible? I am Yothi. One chosen to bring you fire. Our legend. They speak of human messiah. You come to save us. And free us. Well, that's a pretty high bar you've set for me there. I don't understand. But yes, I will set you high. High and mighty as every messiah is. I hate to be a party pooper, but I am really no messiah. I am... You are. You will see. You open your heart. I unleash fire inside. Marvius showed us a way. And you can walk it. I'm very careful when it comes to opening my heart. So far, this place hasn't been really friendly. Of course. You will learn. You will find out. I mean you no harm. I just bring a gift. You are human, Messiah. You decide. Could you tell me more about that human messiah? No disrespect, but it sounds quite unlikely. You are not the only one who thinks so. Our legends are... unclear. But I looked a long time and I believe it's true. Our prophet, Marvius, he was human. What? Another human on this planet? It was centuries ago. He liberated our ancestors. He led us to Volcano, and gave us the gift of fire. My kin still think he was divine, sent to us. But I seen his suit. He was a humanoid, and too small to be in a born. Wow, I mean, what are the odds? When my brothers told me about you, all suddenly started to make sense. But that doesn't make me a messiah, right? Our legends say that Marvius will return in our darkest hour, and save us again. Since he was human, that's not possible. I think elders are telling it wrong. Most ancient version I had from our eldest says, Immortals shall come once again. It doesn't say Marvius. That's interpretation. Can't be any human with your powers. Can be you. Well, I don't feel under pressure at all. No need. This is place of peace and contemplation. I get that it's peaceful here, but why in the mines? It is not by choice. I'm exiled here. I did things I am not proud of. I had to leave our volcano. Sorry to hear that. It was a good thing. I found my peace here. And later, I was able to share it. Our minor brothers here. Without this place, their life would just be work and beating.
Thank you. Enjoy your newfound freedom.
So, have you figured a way across the river yet? I hope so. I hunted the general down, tried to fight him, but he chickened out and ran away. Then he conveniently jammed the bridge so I couldn't follow him. Sounds like something a rat would do. Is there another way over that fissure? Not that I would know of. Damn it. Any idea how to fix that bridge? If you were a bit more specific about the type and extent of the damage, maybe I could be of some help. Well, I didn't exactly run a stability study there, so... Then I strongly suggest going back and inquiring further. If you find out what's wrong, only then can I fix it. I found these cogs. They're broken, right? Let me see. Indeed, as broken as a cog can be. Bad news is, they are a vital part of the bridge security mechanism. Good news is, I can forge you a new set. Perfect. Here you go. Perfect. My first guess, judging from the size, it's a 10 inch and a 13 inch, but I'll need to clean them and check the serial symbols. I'm sure I still have a full set of forms somewhere, so replicating those shouldn't be a problem. I'll go and find them. You will get me some molybdenum in the meantime. I'll get you what? Molybdenum. No? A ductile transition metal? Wolfenite? Power light? Still doesn't ring a bell. Not a fan of the noble art of chemistry, I see. I have some metal weapons we could smelt. That would be much faster, right? Amazing! Why didn't I think of that? We will smelt your weapons, make some shiny trinkets, Sell them to the Ratkins and live happily ever after. What? Tell me, do your weapons have a mosh hardness of 5.5 while retaining amazing world ability? I don't... Are they almost unaffected by thermal expansion? And are they absolutely corrosion resistant? I don't know. 
Well, I do. That's why we need molybdenum. If we used anything else, the cogs will break before you can say pig iron. I get it, I get it. Where can I get some? Well, I don't keep a stash here since I rarely need it. They have me just making weapons for months. So you are probably doomed anyway. Oh no, maybe I might have an idea. If only we were in the mines. That would make things so much easier. Don't push me too hard. Maybe I don't know a thing about iron or metallurgy, but I can sure cure you of those irony attacks. Sorry, I'm just not used to dealing with landlubbers. Your ignorance simply annoys me. Just look around and dig around a bit, and come back with four ores of molybdenum. How do I recognize it? That's luckily for you quite easy. Our prospectors were marking it with a special glowing colour. So it literally glows in the dark. I wouldn't dig it barehanded, though. You'll need some equipment. What equipment? Unless you have superhuman strength and a pickaxe, I would pick this drilling machine. Not exactly the latest model, but it will do. Take good care of it. I will need it back. I'm a bit lost with that uh, molly mobly mobil mobilidendum thing. Molybdenum. Just look for ores with a bluish glow and come back with four of them. Where should I look? Just look around and you'll find that is if
Mining complete. I bring those four ores of molybdenum. Molybdenum. Good work. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of that drilling thing. I had so much fun that I actually drilled some extra, just to be on the safe side. And you'll be happy to hear that we also need about 50 ores of pig iron, right? What? Just pulling your leg, landlubber. I'll have everything ready. Just give me the molybdenum and I can start smelting. I had no idea smelting is so exciting. You make it seem so effortless. Thank you. It just comes naturally to me. I've been a metal fan ever since childhood. Will you join me in the hunt for the General? I should hold this ground, just in case other miners have survived. This is my home, and the heart of our civilization. And honestly, I think I can be of much more help here. Whenever you need anything, I'm happy to oblige. If it stops the Ratkins from ruining the noble art of metallurgy, I'm your man. Thank you. Stay safe. No worries. I'm tough as titanium. So the... He has no... We have him trapped like a rat. Go and get him. Thank <laughs> you. 